Can I buy? No, nothing. Hello YouTube family, uh, welcome back to our channel, welcome to another exciting video today. Uh, if you're new here, we like to welcome you to the family and you know just say thanks for giving us a shot, for you know considering to even watch watch our video. Um, if uh, to all of our old subscribers, we like to sincerely thank you for all the love and support. Uh, just the immense growth we we've, we've seen uh, together as a team, together as, as as family. And I mean, this this channel is for all of us. Uh, we see it as as a, a joint thing. So we we're growing together, and we're excited about that. So we like to thank all of our subscribers. If if again. Today is your first time coming across our video. Kindly uh, like, share, uh, comment, and don't forget to subscribe as we do have a lot of exciting content coming your way. Um, in today's video, we're basically going to be uh, making a road trip. And the reason why I'm even in Liberia in the first place is because I lost my father back in August. And I had to come uh, to Liberia to plan funeral and uh, just attend to personal family matter so so we're headed to Rapalu County I'm currently around the Dwala area just prepping to go um, so yeah I mean I'll take you guys along and show you as much as I can show you and since the passing of my dad visiting the county so I'm going to be making several trips uh, to places that we have properties uh, you know, just to make sure I see everything and make sure everything is in order so yeah that's that's what we're doing right now prepping to go the guys are just tying the uh, gasoline for the generators that we're going to use and then there's an extra few uh, diesel, just a backup. So yeah, come along as we go. I think it's about a uh, three, four hours trip to the capital city of Bapalu County, uh, Bopalu City. So yeah, let's, let's go along this journey. I mean, as I stated uh, earlier, I did lose my father, um, unfortunately, um, so I had to make this, this trip. It wasn't a trip that was planned at all, but uh, given the nature of what happened, I had to come, um, you know, and work with uh, other relatives in the country to plan the funeral and then just attend to uh, things that, you know, we had to do regarding our parents estate um, so yeah that you know included making several trips uh, around the country specifically to Bapalu County where my parents are from both of them and I mean I know you see a lot of billboards uh, it was during the heart of the campaign uh, I think just a couple of days after like four days after the campaign started my dad passed so there are a lot of billboards for presidential candidates for you know people running for the senate for the house of representative and that kind of stuff and it was also a rainy season so i mean you're going to see in certain areas the road you know is not not so good again on on the highway you have checkpoints uh, what, you know, some checkpoints are police, some are immigration, uh, and this this road is is a major road. So it's the Monrovia Bombing Highway. Uh, so it goes to a county in Liberia called Bombing County. Obviously, it goes to Bapalu County as well, but it also goes to uh, Grand Cape Mount County. So of the 
three counties that I mentioned uh, Bombing, Bapolu, and Cape Mount. Two of those counties are border counties. So, Cape Mount borders uh, Sierra Leone. Um, Bapolu County also borders Sierra Leone. Uh, you know, so, you have immigration checkpoints, you have police checkpoints as you travel. And as I stated, it's rainy season. You can see that it's raining. I mean, uh, on and off so you get to places where the rain will stop and then places will start raining heavy um, so yeah the road you see branching on the left is the road that goes to Grand Cape Mount County uh, and Grand Cape Mount County is a very interesting place uh, it's a very good uh, robber sport uh, to be specific the capital city is, is very prime for tourism uh, they also have I think one of the best surfing spots in the world so you have a lot of uh, tourists that are surfers that go to Grand Cape Mount County for that reason it's also one of the biggest fishing uh, community in Liberia so a lot of fish come from that area so it's, it is a, a great place uh, to visit for, for so many reasons and you know as I stated it's rainy season the roads are not so good and you know Liberian drivers like to really push their cars to the limit as you can see in the video you know the amount of load on that car on those cars ordinarily is not something that you would do but yeah I mean Liberian drivers know how to push to push their cars so yeah, I mentioned earlier that uh, we're on the Monrovia Bomi Highway, uh, so we just entered Todmanburg City, and Todmanburg is the capital capital city of, of Bomi County. Um, so again, you have to pass through Todmanburg to be able to to go to Bapolu. So yeah, that's that's what you're seeing on your screen. Just you know pictures of us entering the capital city of Bomi County, and I mean. If any of our subscribers here are from Bomi, um, this this is the capital city. Um, if you've been away for a while, you can see, you know, just just the current status of, of the, the city. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, this is an exciting trip, and I hope you can stick and stay and come along with us and as we explore a lot of exciting things uh, in this in this video and just in the trip as, as a whole. Um, so yeah, uh, again, you get into the, I would say the center of Todman Burke and then you branch uh, on your right. Uh, that's, that's the road you're seeing right now. And from here to, again, where we're going, Bopolu City, uh, the capital city of Bopolu, is third road. Uh, so uh, the uh, asphalt pavement stopped just where you saw. So that's, that's where it stops. And then it is purely dirt road. I would say for the next uh, three, I mean, should technically be three hours. Again, because it's rainy season, road conditions are not so uh, ideal. Um, so it's probably going to be a little more, a little bit more than than three hours. But yeah, I mean, this this is the road leading to to Bopolu City, the capital city of. Of Bapolu County and I mean interestingly again I, I talked about Cape Mount um, uh, earlier on in the video uh, Bapolu County is also another interesting county again you know huge potential for for tourism uh, there's just a, a lot of, of you know spots in this county that has that has a uh, potential for tourism aside from the the regular uh, natural 
uh, you know waterfalls mountains and that kind of stuff there there is a very unique history to, to Bapalu County uh, there is an infamous prison uh, that is in a a part of the county uh, most most Liberians have heard about Bella Yala prison so that that prison used to be again way back uh, for notorious uh, notorious criminals uh, political prisoners and that kind of stuff and that particular place used to be landlocked so there was no way for vehicles to get there so the government was using that as, as a you know place where they would take people that they classify as notorious prisoners um, to because there was no way for them to run away um, that was you know basically they would get on the helicopter and take them there and then you know blindfold them while while they're taking them so there will be no way for them to run away um, so yeah there's you know, there are just a lot of interesting things uh, so we just entered Bapolu and we're entering so that's I mean there's a water we just passed by that water is the boundary between Bumi and Bapolu County now there's again Going just to give a little bit of information, people of those two counties have been, there is a land dispute as far as where the boundary is. Uh, people from Bombing County are claiming there's a town that we're coming up on uh, called Sawmill Town. Now the people of Bombing are claiming that this town is in Bombing County, which again, I don't believe is, is you know, well, I don't believe it should be that way because if the water is the boundary everything after the water should be properly you know going on this side and then on the other side but yeah there, there has been that conflict for a while um, again more uh, billboards you know mostly for senatorial candidates and representative candidates but yeah this this is so milk town we made a brief stop to get you know I'm, I'm a huge fan of just natural food and that kind of stuff. So every time I see it, you know, I, I don't care where where I'm going. I will most likely make a stop to, to get some. Um, so we stopped to get some sweet potatoes. There were also lemon uh, lemons um, that we got. Um, and yeah, we you know again stopped because that's that's a town that. You know, a lot of folks there knew my, my father, you know, whenever he went in the county, he would stop there. So we also stopped just to, to speak to the people. Um, and yeah, back on the road. So yeah, just, just talking about the importance of, you know, the historic city of Bapalu County, and specifically Opolu City. So if you go back in history, uh, Prior to our independence, that is around the time a lot of countries were uh, being colonized and that kind of stuff. Liberia never got colonized, um, but uh, a group of, of free uh, black men and women, uh, you know, some people call them free slaves. I don't do that, but yeah, a group of free black men and women came to. Liberia uh, in the hopes of, of forming forming a country that would be you know, a, a paving a safe ground for you know, people that were enslaved uh, in, in America and since slavery had been abolished uh, you know they were finding their way back uh, to Africa um, and so a king there there is a king called Again, if folks that are familiar with Liberian history will know King Salboso. Uh, he was the leader of the Kondo Federation, which was basically based in northern and western Liberia before the arrival of the settlers. Uh, so he, again, led a group of, of his followers from Bopolu, um, now which, which is the capital of, of, of Bapolu. He led a group 
for those of his followers. Uh, so from, from Bopolu City to Monrovia, in order to bring together uh, you know, the settlers that had come and the native people, because there was some friction there. Um, and today, in present day, his, his grave is, is in in Bopolu City, uh, so that's, that's where he was buried. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to give that. And then what you just saw is we came across a snake. I think we rode on, on a snake. Um, but yeah, now what you're seeing on your screen is, is a huge mining site in, in Bapulu. I think it, it was, uh, you can see the pictures there. That's just a clip of, of what, what's going on there. That's you know the mining operation there, the mining iron ore. There's a company from China called Biochico. I believe uh, either this uh, last year, so 2023 or uh, 2022, they signed a 25-year concession agreement with the government of Liberia to mine iron ore. Uh, again, which, which is a controversial topic for me because they're mining iron ore. They're taking hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars from that place, and then you guys, you know, can just see the road leading up and you know even going further so i believe that they should be doing more um you know if you're extracting all those natural resources the people should at least benefit something um in terms of, of you know infrastructure development you know just ba basic social services but again you know it, it is what it is but we just entered Bopolu City. I think you saw the sign, uh, the sign board, uh, you know, just saying "Welcome to Bopolu City." Um, again, we were able to get in before it got dark. Um, so, yeah, this is just the entrance of um, the city. Um, I'm excited a little bit. I just. What, what I love about traveling in New York places is just the scenery. Yeah, I mean, I love the scenery. I love, uh, you know, just living the country life. Uh, it's, there's a lot, again, if you've, you've lived in cities and, and, you know, if you have the countryside experience, it's a lot healthier. Um, you know, the air is, is a lot fresher. You know, the green, the greenery, um, you know, there's, for me, uh, there's there's a lot more uh, peace. And that's, that's something I want to be able to do. That's something we want to be able to do uh, to, you know, not live in the, the hustle and bustle, but live on the farm where you, you know, have the privilege of being close to nature. Um, you know, you also have the privilege of growing what you eat. And just you know, just holistically being being in touch and in tune with nature. So it's an awesome feeling when whenever I'm in in uh, you know these these kind of setting. Yeah. So again, uh, welcome to Bopolu City. Uh, this is the you know entrance, uh, you know where where the city starts from. Um, you know. I, you see there there's an MTN tower we just passed by I think on the other side closer a lot closer to the house there there's also an orange tower and those are the two major um, cell phone companies in, in the county um, so yeah I mean we are very close to the house and this the area where the house is located is, is kind of I would say the uh, heart of, of Bopolu City what you just saw there up was the radio station uh, directly in front of us uh, that's the city hall um, right there um, so there, there are a lot of things around around this area um, there is in the biggest Hospital, the biggest referral hospital in, in Western Liberia is around that area. What you're seeing in the fence there uh, is the headquarters of the National Election Commission for the entire county. So, I mean, when votes are casted all around the county, that's where the votes are tallied. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the yard. Um, it's I would say on approximately six lots of land. Uh, so that's one acre 
two lots. Um, you have the generator room, you have a palava hut. There are two houses there. Um, and then behind us, we share a boundary with the, the Catholic church and, and the school. Um, and then to the left of us is, is the magisterial court. So just, just in a, a really prime location. Hey. Yeah, we got in. Uh, I had other obligations. I had a uh, interview on the radio that evening, um, and then just began touching base here and there. So I, you know, couldn't record. You know, didn't get any recording, any video recording of, of the the radio interview. But you know, it was basically to thank the people of the county for you know being for standing with us doing doing our bereavement and the role they played in, in the, the funeral arrangements and the funeral of my father. So yeah, we had that radio interview and yeah, this is the next morning and you know, this is just me showing you guys the land. Uh, it is a very huge, huge land. Um, houses, I believe, are kind of up for maintenance, uh, so we'll be doing some work very soon. But yeah, I mean, we got up that morning and, you know, just, you know, just drove drove around Opolu City. Uh, you can see the beautiful mountains there in the background. And the most important thing is to look for food. So we, you know, while driving, we came across uh, this guy with uh, bush meat and some snow. We're on our way to the market, but we did buy uh, that from him. And then we went on to the market uh, to get some other things. Again, I'm just a lover of uh, organic, natural, fresh food. So yeah, I mean, the market is one of my favorite places. And more meat, uh, someone brought you know, some deer meat uh, for us to buy. You know, and we bought that as well. Uh, um, I'm a I'm a lover of food, um, so yeah. I mean, I think you guys can tell already. But yeah, I mean, we spent some time in the market, and you know, we went on to make some food to eat. So yeah, we're going to end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and thank you for all the love.